owning our story is um, not always so easy. So people often tell me, my clients, my friends, Julia, what you're talking about here is, it sounds so easy, owning my story, but how do I do it? And um, now today I would like to confess or admit that I also have times when I do not own my story. So just last night when you and me talked about this, um, this um, series of videos we want to take about Marquis de Sade, um, I was hit by my own story and I, some things happened um, from my memory. So the memory of the life that brought me here, which was not always a good life. So I am, um, I'm not very stable in these times of Corona because I'm feeling alone and isolated sometimes. So what happened was, that the memories of my childhood traumata came back to me after we have talked about Marquis de Sade and all these things. So, and then I started doing what I sometimes do when life overwhelms me, when suffering comes, when I feel like a victim. Then I go to the fridge, I go into the kitchen and I eat everything there is. I eat it in an extremely short amount of time, like 10 minutes and I have everything eaten which was there. And then I felt really bad last night and I went into the bathroom and vomited it all out. So I think we call it bulimia. And I think in these moments of my life, when I am not owning my story, when the story owns me, I start falling back into this behavior. And um, so I also have these moments where I do not own my story. And um, this is why I want to say this because I would like to encourage everyone who does not own their story. And this can be any time. We can also be for two years not owning our stories or for two weeks or for two minutes. Um, it can be any amount of time. Still, there is a way out. And my way out was calling you, Dr. D, and, and saying what I just did, which offered me your your hand from from the other side of the world which allowed me to get up again and to own my story again so yeah i i decided to share this with our audience because i think it is of importance to tell and um thank you for having me telling it oh and thank you for sharing it with with me as well Well, I think that's a pretty profound note to end on. <sighs> to our audience, I'll say the usual. If you like this video, Princess Guy, what can our audience do if they like these videos? Thumbs up, comments down below, and you can also subscribe, subscribe to our channels. Yeah, very cool. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you in the next playlist. Bye.